Do you need me to run prompter in here? Yeah, we're on with the network ops right now. Yeah, they want us to go the full 30. It's supposed to be 430. You good on mics? Mic check, mic check. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, check in, checking. I found out on Monday around 1 o'clock, uh, about 48 hours before the announcement was going to take place. We knew that it was going to be big news, and it was very important that the circle stayed super tight. I think we expanded the group that was in the know probably about 48 hours before it was going to be announced. And the craziness with all of that is that a lot of that is the media team that then has to produce all the content that will go live. I was brought into a video call on Monday afternoon, and we were all sworn to secrecy in that call. And had to kind of figure out very quickly how we were going to get into action to honor such a, a historic moment appropriately, and with a, you know as much quality and engagement as it deserves. Obviously, this isn't just the retirement of one, it was the hiring of another. And so we split up the videos. I took the Yale announcement video and Jodane took the Muffet announcement video. By that evening, I felt the motivation of being called to task and that I needed to deliver. We just dropped one bomb and then 15 minutes later, you're just sitting there at your computer and you're like, oh man, they don't know what's about to happen. And then you hit send on that release and Sarah hits send on the tweet and you're like, well, here comes bomb number two. But it was definitely that moment of like, oh gosh, this is it. And I just hit send on that news and told the whole world. And that is so monumental. We initially set out to say, hey, how do we do a live press conference without the press being in the room? It has been my great honor to represent the University of Notre Dame these past 33 years. But the time has come for me to step down as your head coach. We are able to live stream it uh, to not only our website, YouTube, uni.com, but also on ESPN platforms. And we get a lot of good pub. Our athletic director had the prescience to institute a succession plan that would survive one of our assistants going to work in the NBA and ultimately come back. Aaron Horvath used to always say, own great moments with great content. And it really was going to be a great moment. I was getting tweets texted to me from other members of the comms team and from across FIM that was just, did you see this one? Make sure you grab this one. Go like this tweet. And that was like, Oh my gosh, look at the impact that this is having. To Coach McGraw, I'm here because of you. You believed in me. It was a bittersweet moment of realizing that things are gonna be different. It's always a, a disappointing time when you lose a legend, but it's really cool to have future legend take over.